Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Friday, Bam Bam. Happy Friday or whatever day it is where you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. Guys, I wanted to come and give a word that God wanted me to release, but I also want to give words of encouragement. Uh, as always, I tell you to take any word that I give you or any other servant of God gives you. Make sure that you're taking the time to take these words back to God for confirmation, all right? Make sure you're taking the time to sit with him yourself to confirm the word. And as always, you already know, I'm going to continue to encourage to have your own relationship with God. Not just a relationship, an intimate relationship. God desires that. So, you know, you hear from him just like I hear from him. And we just sometimes have to tune out the noise so that we can hear from God. You know, so that we can hear the voice of God ourselves, all right? So make sure you're just taking the time to develop that relationship. God desires that and I encourage it, okay? But guys, if you see me look down, uh, I'm just looking at my notes per usual. But God was stating, guys, to get in position. Get in position for the things um, for the things that he promised that you will receive. It is time, guys. It is time to receive. It is time to see the promises of God come to pass. God is saying, stay in position. Do not give up. Uh, a lot of you are weary. A lot of you are going through a lot of spiritual attacks. A lot of you are facing, you know, demonic witchcraft and things of that nature. But God is saying no matter what warfare you're going through, no matter what the enemy is trying to bring your way, make sure that you stay your ground and stay in position. It's time to receive and it's very important that you're really, you know, you're staying in position and you're staying close to God so that you can continue to hear God's instructions. But it is time to receive, guys. So don't get weary. Don't get weary in well-doing. I know that you're going through, you know, some spiritual attacks. I, you know, I'm facing it myself. I, you know, I'm fighting just like you. It's just some crazy things that have just, you know, the enemy trying to beat me up, trying to knock me off, off, off course. And, uh, you know, to making me doubt what God is saying. And that I know some of you are experiencing the same thing. God is saying, keep going. Do not give up. To keep going, to keep persevering. He will give you the strength. That's why I always tell you, you no, know, stay in the presence of God, but stay in your word as well, because we draw strength from that word. Um, we draw strength just from the word of God, and God is the word. So we we draw strength from him. So make sure that you, you know, you're just staying in the presence of God because I know that it's getting intense and many of you are just going through so much warfare and facing your your giants, you're facing your Goliath, but you know, you will you will have victory. Like David, you will have victory, but you cannot give up. We all know the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. God makes that very clear what the enemy comes to do and that is to kill steal and destroy he hate us he don't like us he's going to continue the more we keep working and walking with god the more that he's right there he's not going to stop so it's an everyday battle but he can continue <laughs> to be after us but as long as we have god as long as we're standing in faith and in hope God is right there. He's our protection. You know, put on our full armor of God, like it tells you in Ephesians 6. Put on that full armor, you know, but don't give up. You're right there at the finish line. You're right there at your breakthrough. Do not allow the enemy to make you, you know, to cause you to give up, to miss out on what God has for you. I know the attacks are, for some of you, are heavy. I know that you're going through major warfare. The enemy, like I say, he's busy. You're, I'm, I'm not exempt from it. I'm, if not, I'm even more <laughs> under attack. You know, by being on here spreading the gospel, but God is good. God is good and no weapon, 
no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We're more than conquerors, not just conquerors. God tells us we're more than conquerors. So we stand on that. He's our strength. He's our peace. He helps us to persevere and he'll help us. But you got to stay strong, guys. And I'm just here today just to encourage you, encourage you, you know, as your sister in Christ, to just let you know that God is saying to keep going, to stay in position and do not give up. You know, you may have to face some things. You may have to fight some things. You may have to lose some things, but God is bringing better. And it may not even look like it right now in the physical. It may not look like it, but know, <laughs> know that God is working behind the scenes for your good. He's turning everything around for your good. So hold on. Don't allow the enemy to discourage you. Don't allow the enemy to knock you off course. Keep going. Keep persevering, okay? Um, God led me to a scripture during my quiet time with him, which was Matthew 4.1. Uh, about testing and I'm reading from the uh, NIV version okay it says then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil he was led by the spirit the spirit of God into the wilderness to be tested by the devil so he had to be tested as well after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So he was tempted. Jesus was not exempt from of being tipped, uh, tempted or tested by the enemy. So if God was tempted, if God, if Jesus was tempted and, and, and Jesus was uh, tested, what we're going to go through the same things. And it shows he know, you know, the enemy knew his mission. He knew his purpose. So the enemy wants to destroy us, but more, most importantly, he wants to destroy your purpose. He wants to destroy my purpose, your purpose. It's the purpose that you're after, that he's after. He wants to, if he can keep you from walking and doing what God has asked and called you to do, that's it. That's it. He know that you cannot, if you are distracted, if you're weary, if you're tired, if you're angry, if you're bitter, if he can do everything, uh, keep you in your emotions, keep you, you know, fearful, doubtful, if he can keep you out of your purpose, the whole thing, the whole motive of the enemy is to keep you from getting to what God needs for you to do, what he called you here to do. So he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's not just you. That's, that's our purpose. He's after our purpose. He was after Jesus' purpose. Jesus had purpose for his life. You know? So, guys, keep going. Keep going. Do not allow the enemy to knock you off course. Keep walking. Keep walking towards the finish line. You're almost there. You're almost there. Those things that God promised you is coming. Believe me, I understand. I understand. I was um, um, traveling. I was uh, tell y'all this story right quick. I I was traveling uh, a couple of weeks ago. I told you guys I took a break and had a great trip. A great trip, and you know the enemy. God is just. I just sat with God and just you know had some quiet time with God. And the enemy was just mad. He was just figuring out ways to you know, during the trip and after the trip to just aggravate me, to keep, to get me angry, to, to mess the trip up. Well, I had a great trip, but coming back, boy, when I tell you, <laughs> I called heck when I got back. The flight was canceled uh, after waiting seven hours in the airport. 
uh, my luggage that I, th this is the second luggage the airport have destroyed. These are not, you know, these are money, ha good money has been spent on these luggage. And this is the second luggage that the airport has this have destroyed. They tore the wheel off of one of them. They bust the zipper off of the other. But this particular trip, they tore the wheel and they bust the zipper off of this luggage. And it was like things just kept happening back to back to back to back. And he was so angry that God, that that trip would you know, was going well in the trip. I was just having such a good time and, and just being in the presence of God. And he was so mad and he destroyed, he just tried to find a way to make me angry. Now, I was a little angry, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was angry. I wanted to tear some up up in there, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I was like, you know, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. You know, he wanted to do everything to keep, to to really make me feel bad after the trip. He wanted me to feel just, just bad after that. And just constantly, you know, just constantly the attacks. But no weapon formed against me shall prosper. If God is for me, who can be against me? And, you know, I was very upset, but you know, God had to calm me down because I, I I was about to go there, but I, I I just I knew in my heart and in my spirit that that was definitely a attack, attack on me, uh, a spiritual attack. But uh, it is, you know, we're gonna go through some things, guys, but God is with us. He's always with us. He's always gonna be with us. And uh, I just want to encourage you, it's coming. It's on the way. You're almost there. And whatever Goliath you're fighting, whatever you're dealing with, know it's going to get better, okay? It's going to get better. Just hang in there. You're almost there. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. Continue to stay in the presence of God. And he has your back. He has your back. He has your front and your sides because God is good. He is good and it's nobody like him. So guys, I just wanted to come and give you that word today and just encourage you to know that God is saying it's there. You're almost at the finish line and just hang on, okay? I know that you're going through some things, but it's going to be all right. So that is the word. You know what I'm going to say. Keep shining. Keep being the light that you are, guys, because you're absolutely the light. Keep loving Keep being kind and compassionate toward one another. And just let's not conform to this world or the agendas of it, okay? They want to divide us by every means necessary. But let's continue to walk in unity and in love, all right? All right, guys, know that God loves you unconditionally. I love you. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend and stay safe and stay, you know, stay cool out there because it's hot in these streets. It is hot. But I, I just, you know, just pray that you guys have a good and a safe weekend. And God willing, I will see you guys next time, okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.